yakoze yako wa president wa republika ni itkwa uineza valensi haba andi ufashe mkwe wala gaunda zuyu monsi yako wa president wa republika wayo zimwe se mutera ni hano haji kubera umuhango wakwa achira indahiro za ministre hamwe ni mwenye wanga wale taba achizgo yomuli guvernomu nguko vitega mwani teye konshinga yomu mbili na gata tu javu gulo yomu mbili na chumi na gata anu mungingo ya rjo ira na chumi numu nani Ivuga ira hirarija wajize guverno ma. Nyakuwa preza wapulika. Mura achira inda hiroza Dr. Sabe Sanzimana. Ministre ubu zima. Na Dr. Ivan Utera. Umunya wanga waleta mwini ministeri ubu zimu. Harawanza Dr. Sabe Sanzimana. Areje rimbere. Arafata kuiba indera rya Repubulika y'u Rwanda ni kiganza cy'umuso azamuru ko ku buryo avuge indahiro ngewe ngewe Saben Sanzimana ndahiri y'u Rwanda ku mugaragaro ndahiri y'u Rwanda ku mugaragaro ko nazaye mu kirare Repubulika y'u Rwanda ko nazaye mu kirare Repubulika y'u Rwanda ko nzubahiriza itegeko nshinga nandi mategeko ko nzubahiriza itegeko nshinga nandi mategeko ko nzaharanira uburenganzira bwa muntu n'ibyagira abanyarwanda bose akamaro Konza hara nira ure nga nzira buga monu Ibiya jira wanyarugu anda wosa kamaro Konza hara nira umwebuga wanyarugu anda Konza hara nira umwebuga wanyarugu anda Konza kora numurava imiri moshinzwe Konza kora numurava imiri moshinzwe Konza za kore shuwasha mawe mungu za njibgiti Konza za kore shuwasha mawe mungu za njibgiti Ni inhatiri nda hiro zavi hanirugu na matejeku Ni inhatiri nda hiro zavi hanirugu na matejeku Imana ibi mfashemu Imana ibi mfashemu Hara kuri chila Dr. Ivan Butera, adejeri mbele. Hara fata kuiwe ndela rja Repubulika Yurugu anda ni chiganza chiu muso, azamu kwa kukuburijo avuge indahiro. Njewe? Njewe, Ivan Butera. Ndahiri Yurugu anda kumugaragaro. Ndahiri Yurugu anda kumugaragaro. Kona zae mchila Repubulika Yurugu anda. Kona zae mchila Repubulika Yurugu anda. Konzu uba hirizi teje konshinga nandi matejeko. Konzu uba hirizi teje konshinga nandi matejeko. Konza hara nira ure nga nzirabu ga munu nibja ajira wanyarugu andabosa kamaro. Konza hara nira ure nga nzirabu ga munu nibja ajira wanyarugu andabosa kamaro. Konza hara nira umwebuga wanyarugu anda. Konza hara nira umwebuga wanyarugu anda. Konza kora numurava imiri monshinzwe. Konza kora na umurava imiri monshinzwe. Kona za kore shuwasha mawe mungu za njibgiti. Kona za kore shuwasha mawe mungu za njibgiti. Ni inatiri nda hiro nza vihanirugu na matejeku. Ni inatiri nda hiro nza vihanirugu na matejeku. Imana ibi mfashemu. Imana ibi mfashemu. Nyuma hiyo kurahira, awa maze kurahira, alivo Dr. Sabe Sanzimana na Dr. Iva Utera, wajie gushira wa mukono kunda hiro zaabu. Aba maze kurahira murakoze nyakuha president republika mu cyubahiro cyanyu twabasabaga ko mwagiza ijambo kubari hano ndetse nabakurikiye umwango hirya no hino murakoze Mwuzego standu kanyezi jyo kuchachu Mwuri hano Wanyachu wa hiro Mutera ni aha Wanyaru wa handa mwese Awa agara ribi hugu Emiri ya ngumu za mahanga hano Ndahera kubanza Ndaba shuhuja kwanza. 
then Nagira Mushimire Ava Minister Vasha Bamazek to Yazaho in the hero. Now when she did Kanya Ushachi Bravo, Ushawazi, the being the Janian of Korea, Ijugo, Avanyarwanda, Ukovi Kuye. And I can remember Caesar and you can do Wundi, our quarry, you go your shatsako, Rohasha, Imirimo, Iroro, Kajenda Niz, your shatsako, Vimez, and Abu Vimera, become me with us. Vimera Chanicha and Niavan who we take it as a whole, Krusha, Kova take it Imirimo y’igihugu cyangwa aho bakwiriye kuba bakorana nabo bakorera kugira ngo twese ibintu bigende neza dutembere ariko nabasezeranye ku bundi ubufatanye burahari Gerero, Baza Vite, we go for Tanyana, was sons, Navandi, Navazaza, even his agenda names. Ava Kuru Bumi Hariko, Rahi Monsi, Maja Muri Minister. Yubu Zima. Minister of Turahari Rukomeye. Yubu Zima. 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 Yubu Ibi turabizi bihere ku bintu byinshi by’amateka n’ibyo tugenda duhura na byo ibyorezo bitandukanye harimo ndetse n’icyo tukirimo n’ubu ngubu kijyanye na COVID cumi n’icyenda Nagwa rijo vyo njini haribi ndi vijenshi. Uwero ndi vgera ko awa maze kura hira baza adu kwa redi mirimu ko vikuye tuka kwa rana nabo atu kwa duko riyatu tuka hangana nivu ya wazo bitari viche kuburiyo to be seen at the Tinde Ho Chane, Najango Bonere Hu Yumania, Okujiri Mvoga, Bijane Nimivere Hoi Yu, bitari byubuzima gusa twavugaga mu kanya nabyo ariko bigiri ingaruka ku buzima uburyo bundi butandukanye eh ariko ni politique muri rusange aho tuva aho turi naho tujya Buri gihe kiza nibyo ngibyo bitatu ubukaho vuye umenya huri ureba nahuja 
Nagira ngo mbonere ho mwanya mbanze nshimire mwesawe yobuzi bari hano araba ministre ari aba député akora mu nteko y'igihugu cyacu awutabera nabandi ndetse nabayobozi b'inzego zo hejuru turi kumwe hano Uburyo dukomeje dukomeje gufatanya kubaka igihugu cyacu ndetse ibyo tugeraho mu rugo ufatanya no kubaka igihugu bikadushoboresha no ku gufatanya nabandi uri ntara ya Afrika uhereye no muri aka karere dutuyemo ku burasera zuba kugira ngo twese ushobore kugenda duhangana n'ibibazo no gukemura ibibazo bitwugarije niyo mpamvu mushaka ko amenyesha ko usibye ko kwese dusanzwe tuzi imirimo ingabo polisi y'igihugu cyacu eh ari ingabo ari polisi bikora bikorwa bikorwa muri Mozambique bikorwa Central African Republic bikorwa South Sudan nahandi mu buryo butandukanye ari bikorwa biri bikorwa mu bufatanye na United Nations ni bikorwa hagati y'ibihugu byacu nibindi bihugu nka Mozambique dukorana n'igihugu cy'a Mozambique muri Central African Republic dufite uburyo bubiri nukorana na Loni no gukorana n'icyo gihugu byombi birabanyikiranye South Sudan dukorana na UN um ibi byose bimwe ntabwo turi igihugu gikize nabuse nabuse dukize kubindi ntabwo dukize mu buryo bw'ubukungu ariko mu mutima n'ubushake turakize pe niyo mpamvu dushobora gukemura ibibazo byacu tukomeza gushakira umuti uko nti bijya bishira ariko tukagira n'uruhare no gufatanya nabandi kugira ngo dukemure dufatanye dukemure ibibazo byabo ndetse akenshi bishobora kuba bifitanye isano n'ibibazo byacu bityo tuka teri nambe eh uh, muri Mozambique nagira ngo mbivugira hano kuko hari abantu bajya bagira confusion muri Mozambique dufite yo ingabo zirenga naba police barenga ibihumbi bibiri ndetse bigera bivanze af bibiri na magana tano nejo ejo ejo ashize twongereyo izindi ngabo bazongereyo kubera ko akuva twagera mu Zambique ari bazo byinshi byakemutse dufatanije abene gihugu ba Mozambique 
hari nibindi bigikomeza ibibazo kubera ko ntabwo twara ahantu hose na gutoshora gukora ahantu hose hari abandi nabo bafashije hari samim ingabo zavuye muri South Africa nazo zifite ibyo zikora muri Mozambique abantu bose bafite ibice bakoreramo ibice dukoreramo na vuga ko ibibazo twabikemuye bikarangira ariko kubera ko abo twaye duhanganye nabo bagiye bimuka bakajya mu bindi bice bya Mozambique ntabwo twari kugera ahantu hose ntabwo byashoboka tunafatanyije na ba Mozambique ariko nabo bandi nabo bafite byabo bakora ndagaragara ko rero aba terrorists ba bamaze muri Mozambique bagiye bimuka bakava aho twakoreraga bakajya handi twumvikanye na ba Mozambique ko tugiye kubakurikirana aho bari aho ngaho so nibyo tugiye uko ya mambo twongere izonga ariko izonga bo tuzongera kuva twagera Mozambique ngira ngo ibekirire ha gihugu nakimwe ha muryango numwe uraduha nurumia ngo kukoresha muri ako kazi na mafaranga ya mafaranga y'igihugu muri bya bice dufite tugabana nabandi turasangira tukabikoresha tunashaka kuvuga nte na rushinzwe haraba zafasha haraba tubwira ko bazafasha turategeje ni badufasha rwose tuzayibashimira kandi birakwiye ahubwo byari bikwiye kuba yarabaye kera ariko it's never too late to help tuzayibashimira ariko nagira ngo icyo kibanze kive mu nzira kuko harabibwira ko harabanyirira amafaranga hasi bakatwishyura harabageze bate nta numwe niba ndabivuga niba tari byo ndazo kwifuza kubona wampakanya ariko nagira ngo byo banze bibe mu nzira twatanze uburyo buke dufite ndese dutanga nubuzima kuko abajya kurwana mu ntambara nka ziri ya hari abantu babigwamo bono uwa ngo mu gihugu cyacu twatanze ubuzima bw'abana bacu mufatanya na bana ba Mozambique tunatanga na mikoro yacu make dufite ubwo rero ngo mbashimire ibyo kuba nubwo navuga ngo twabanje kwicara tujye inama twemeranya ho tubikora ndabashimira ko twabikoze mugasanga ari byo namwe mukabyemera eh ndagira ngo mbandanye nanone muri Central African Republic abuye ko hari uburyo bubiri ari gukorana na UN hari no gukorana n'igihugu bwacyo bilateral ari na UN framework to the muri bilateral nabyo ni kimwe nk'ibyo bya Mozambique ku Rwanda nabyo na mikoro yacu twasangiye n'abanyafurika bagenzo bacu nabyo ntabwo dutaka cyane ngo ntabwo abantu badufashije ariko bashatse gufasha abafashe 
Republic of Karana, Naval Central African Republic, Kuburyo, Yava Hayagahenge, Wakavana Mauro, and the same Hamvu, Basho, Yamatora, Yushize, Yotu Tajayo, Abuava Regis. When the Nanu go, Iria Tibiriho, Changuaraji, Hanu go, Nuria Mujio, Abu Bangi, Nausha or Kuba. Utari mu maboko yabo waruri mu maboko yabanda bo bare bahanganya nabo ariko no icyatumye tubikora muri ene ho dufite ingabo naho zuri hari ya muri Central African Republic dukurikiza amategeko ya UN ntabwo twajya kunyuranya nibyo UN dukoreramo ishaka ifite uburyo bwa ikora nabo nirwa mbitinda ho su kubinenga ariko ndavuga uko bimeze ariko bya baracho byatumye byihuta ibintu bira uko ibyo nitwe tubigena iyo wigenera uko ri bintu ko byumva uko bishaka uko bona bikwiye iyo ukorera mu bandi cyangwa ari bo bakuyobora nabo bakora uko bashaka ko babone ibintu akensha rwo biba binyuranye bitajyana ko rero twabwiye aba ingabo ziri muri UN gukurikiza amategeko ya UN hanyuma ingabo zacu nazo twoherereje yo twaze haya mabwiriza zigomba gukurikizaho zigomba gukurikiza zikorana na leta ya Central African Republic ibyo biratandukanye ariko ndibwira ko byuzuzanya ibyo nabyo bimaze gihe nabyo bigenda bifata inzira gusangira igani no buryo bwinshi tuzi gusaranganya cyane iyo kitugejeje ingabo ziri muri bilateral muri Central African Republic usibye ko zishyurwa no Rwanda imishahara yabo bashyira ku konte za bahano bakaza yasanga ariko banasaranganya nabari muri UN ihemba kurusha uko bahembwa hano abandi niba muri UN bishyurwa buri muntu yishyurwa madorari jana amwe abayo abo wishyuwe ukorera muri UN ikindi gice agasaranganya gaha mugenzi we ukorera muri bilateral mari mu bize aha nubwo bita gusaranganya rero kuko tubaho twebwe ntabwo turi high maintenance yeah we are we are low maintenance people low maintenance countries we do more for less and that's our culture we want to continue um ibyo nabyo rekambishira ruhande nashaka gara kwa ku kindi kibazo kibazo cy'abaturanye dufite na Kongo um ntabwo inware rumwanya gusubizanya na batuvuga cyangwa tuvuga ko bashatse ariko nanyara ngo mbonereho uyu mwanya ngire ibyo mvuga bibasubiza bibwira abantu bari bo bose bagifite mu ruhare muri iki kibazo nzongera hashize igihe nanone niyo mpamvu nshaka kuvuga byinshi byo nabitse bimaze igihe ntasubiza ndabivuga uyu munsi 
nzongera hashize gihe ariko ubwo izaho kwa bomba mbwira bumva ikibazo cya Kongo kirimo ibintu byinshi Kongo Rwanda M23 FDRR Monusco international community envoys ibintu byose turi beshi ukuye kuba afite ibyo dukora ari uko mvuza twese uko mbivuze uko byari bikwiye First of all, it should be a shame to all these people that we are so many, we have so much in terms of means, we claim to want to resolve the problem. It's actually simple to resolve, in my opinion, but it never gets resolved for decades. And of Cong Congolese problems, of the problems of DRC before that, Zaire, and so on and so forth. I I'm just talking about the problems of the last few decades. I'm not going into 60s, I'm not going into late 50s, no. I'm just talking about the last near 30 years now. You would wonder, I'm sure people should be asking themselves, how can these problems that relate to Rwanda, that relate to DRC, that relate to all these groups I'm talking about, that relate to the whole region, that relate to the powerful countries that so much talk about humanitarian crises and human rights and all kinds of things and really speak up for wanting to resolve all this. Sit with this kind of a situation and just keep massaging it and you know, only, you know blaming everybody else except them for these problems. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, what I'm saying, I've given a short list of parties concerned, countries and so on. But it has become so convenient for long that all problems are put on the shoulders heavily on the shoulders of Rwanda. Rwanda is always the culprit in all this. It's not a Federera. It's not uh, a government of Congo that should be responsible for its problems and people. It's not the UN. It's not the powerful countries, main America, UK, France. It is, no, it's Rwanda. It's, it's Rwanda all the time. And it's M23 because of Rwanda. So it still comes back to Rwanda. It's not a Federer, the remnants of uh, people who carried out genocide here. It's not uh, the government of Congo. 
for many reasons. Reasons being, I started by saying here that we, we don't have means, but, but we have weights. We have, don't have means, but we have weights. But we don't have means. And that's why, in comparison, Rwanda and Congo, there is more, much more, much, much more. Congo offers to these people than Rwanda. So naturally, Uh, these people must uh, trade carefully when they are dealing with the Congo's problems. They, they, they must even assist Congo to, to alleviate their, their pain by transferring the, the blame they should hold, they should have, put somewhere else, and uh, the easiest place to put their blame is Rwanda. Um, you know, the, you know, Kuna, Proverb. Hapa mnajua kiswahili? Mnaelewa? Kwa kiswahili Shamba, shamba ya ndizi mnaelewa? Kuna migomba. na kuna majani migomba yani banana stem majani ikiwa banana leaves kwa migomba kuna migomba mifupi na migomba mirefu kwa sababu Afrika wanatumia sana majani ya migomba kufanya kazi nyingi mbalimbali mbali, kupika chakula nini nini wakienda kwa shamba la ndizi ile majani wanayokata ni ile ni yale yale ya migomba mifupi Ndiyo. Yeah, when they go to banana plantation, those Africans use a lot of uh, many things they use banana leaves for. The, 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 the banana leaves they cut are the banana leaves of uh, short banana stems. Ile mlefu sana wanaacha. Sasa hawa watu wanafikiria sisi ni migomba mifupi. Kwa sababu ya geography yaani si nchi ndogo tu au resources minerals vitu vingine wale wana vingi sana sisi hatuna so they would rather go for the 
shote lakini bwana wanajidanganya wana kweli sisi kwa ufupi wetu hatuna means lakini tuna ways na tuko imara hujajua hujui uzkaelewa imara tulivyo those who think they can keep picking uh, cutting our banana leaves because we are short stems boy you don't know how much you have deceived yourselves um yes they even say we we are accused of uh, stealing the wealth the minerals of congo one thing we are not and that's what makes us uh, what i've just said we are not thieves we work for what we have and what we get in fact we are where we are i think some decent progress but not yet too much we, we still have to do a lot by the way also on account of the support we get from these people who accuse us or who accept that we actually do that meaning these powerful countries they actually give us a lot of support and if they took time to scrutinize because they support other countries as well including the congo that we are accused so much for what's happening there they will find they will, or they will not find a place where we give value for their money than rwanda <laughs> they will not i can bet on this for every dollar they spend on us or they support us with we will show more for it than anybody they give their money and it is deliberate it's not by accident it's who we are it's who we want to be and nobody will take it away from us but when it comes to trying to cut the banana leaves because we are short stems they can or they will discover that you also provide value for money meaning it will actually be costly for them now let me add to that for the fdrr and uh, 
the affiliate groups, Rudurunana and so on and so forth. And by the way, affiliate groups means also there are some individuals either whom we have here in prison, who are brought from outside, or others who masquerade around as the so-called the opposition, whom we have just left free to mess up themselves until uh, some point when, uh, if need be, to take care of them, take care of them. But why do you think this program, for example, of FDRR, has been there for the last nearly 30 years? Why? Because you think it's a too complicated a problem to resolve? No. I'm beginning to believe something I never believed. But I suspected, but I had no proof and I don't want to believe it. But it's so many years that if you can't find another explanation, then you have to believe it. You can't but not believe that actually somebody, somewhere, wishes this problem to be there forever. Around it, So many things are played. One, it is maybe to check, to check these uh, stubborn troublemakers but short banana stems. It is to check them. There's always something to... So it's, it's maintained there. And then it spins around for the crimes associated with these people of our history, of our tragedy, in Rwanda in 1994, the history before that, they start associating us with the very crimes of these people. It's like they exist because We are doing something wrong. In actual fact, maybe we share in the crime. We share in the crime they committed. So in other words, for the perpetrators and victims of a tragic history, we are actually the same. There is no difference. Isn't it the whole narrative since 1994? How we in this country are known for stifling freedoms of people, we have you know, violate, we violate human rights, we, well, then sometimes when they are talking about the violating of human rights, they point to the people who are here, whom they have labeled uh, opposition leaders, who are associated with this history, 
that we are violating their rights. Can you imagine? The very people who are associated with genocide well, here are some of them, and of them outside there, whom they have even uh, sometimes refused to try for their crimes because they, they can't return them to Rwanda because Rwanda's justice and human rights, and you know, if they return them to Rwanda, they will uh, be denied their, their justice, their freedom, their human rights. And then we respond to these people and say, okay, if you can't give them to us, here is the evidence. You try them in your courts because you are better than us. And they still don't do that. So what does that mean? What would that mean for anybody who wants to think? And you don't want me to try them for reasons you, you are giving that whether false or true, but then how about you? How about you trying them? What's wrong with you? You mean you're questioning your own justice system as well? But on top of that, they still come and uh, point fingers at us, you know. <laughs> but uh, sometimes uh, there is uh, poetic justice that goes on. Some, some of these people who refuse to re send these people back to us, and we have been begging and showing them all the crimes, they, and they have refused, and in some cases, these people have gone ahead and committed crimes where these people, you know, are holding them in their countries. And then, prompted by that, they quickly now send them <laughs> to us because there is a case where somebody was being accused and you no, know, we were asking how these people, then this killed somebody in one of these countries outside who had refused to surrender that person to us. Killed the person, then I think another one, another case raped somebody and then prompted by that they start processing to send <laughs> these people to us. So the first crime of the genocide they carried out here was not bad enough, but they are reminded by somebody violating the rights of one of their citizens. This is what I'm calling uh, sometimes poetic justice. So, if for the last 28 years this problem has been there, and for the last 20 something, 22 maybe, the UN force was sent to Congo to deal with this situation. On top of the list, being to deal with FDRR and these other genocide you know, groups. And there is not a single day not a single day that I know of, maybe you do, that these forces ever fought FDRR to try and remove them. But they've been so keen to fight 
the notorious or famous, I don't know, M23. That's what happened in 2012. And we warned these people, we were warning them, and saying, you are dealing with half the problem. The other half will come back to haunt all of us. This is not a military issue. This is not a problem you want to resolve by force of arms. It's largely a political problem. You need to attend to you and maybe help the Congolese government to address this problem. They ignored us. Fine. Ten years after that, the problem has come to haunt all of us. But of course, the easy way, again, they have, is blame Rwanda for it. That solves the problem. That's where we are now. But why wasn't this problem resolved for the last 10 years, honestly? Why wasn't it? Those M23, those who fled and came to Rwanda, we put them, we cantoned them in a camp in a former chief in, in, sorry, in Ngoma, former Chibongo. We disarmed them, we gave arms back to Congo. They took the arms. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about facts here, I'm not. Now. Processes started of you know talking to these people. How do we what do we do with them? Where do we, and we always gave access to the officials from Congo to go and talk to these people every time. They came here like twenty times. The last I heard of was when they said they, they, they wanted the representatives of these people and others. The, the, the majority of them were went to Uganda. Is there was a bigger group, and they said they wanted to talk to them, to their representatives, those groups here and those groups in Uganda. They took them to Congo, to Kishasa actually, supposedly to talk to them and resolve their problems. These people they took spent months in a hotel where they put them. And for those months, not a single government official visited them or came to talk to them. Until they decided to, I don't know whether to escape or do what, and left. Now, the problem comes back to be Rwanda's problem. When they started fighting, don't ask me how or where they came from, but we have had a moment to discuss this openly in meetings of heads of state in Nairobi, and it was clearly demonstrated to the Congolese leaders what had been going on. And the only thing they kept telling us was, no, 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 these people must go back where they came from. And then we asked them, where did they come from? <laughs> or, or, or what time do you mean? Because even if you assumed they came from here, where did they come from when they came here? And I asked one simple question in the meeting. I said, we would be wasting our time if we do not answer this question and we continued discussing this issue. I said, one simple question. 
are these people we are dealing with or having to deal with Congolese? Fortunately, the Congolese leaders answered that they are actually Congolese. Then I said, okay, now we can have a conversation. Because my impression at first was that you were saying that these are Rwandese because they speak Kenya Rwanda. Because they are wonderful, as I hear some people call them that, but they are Congolese. These are citizens of Congo. They have their ancestral homes and things in Congo, not here. Here they are refugees. We have over 80,000 of them as refugees in the camps. So, how do we deal with this issue? How does this issue become Rwanda's issue? Just being associated for convenience? I mean, I can see those translators, I think some people have, uh, I want them to hear this thing. Can you see some people having problems of uh, these headphones? Can you please sort out that problem? Maybe there are those who don't want to hear. That's a different issue. But, <laughs> but I, I want those who want to hear to be able to, 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 to listen to me, to be able to do so, so sort out their problems, please. Nonetheless, I will continue for those who want to hear and for those who don't want to hear. That's what we always do. There are many people we talk to knowing that they are not listening, but you have to do a duty of, of letting them know so that there is no excuse about uh, So, this problem, in my view, is not too difficult to address, but you have to do the right thing. I want to remind people that they have to think about how to address the FDR problem. It's been there for too long. Forget about stories being created around it. They say, no, they, they are no longer there. They came to Rwanda, and then we sent them back. And Yeah, but on record also of the UN, there are those who have been repatriated over time, and we received them and reintegrated them. That's why there is that uh, center, uh, is it in Motobo? They are on the record. The records are there, very clear. So that problem has to be looked at. The other problem is the so-called M23 or other groups. By the way, there are over 100 groups, rebel groups, did you know that? In Eastern Congo. I'm fighting for all kinds of things. I don't know some of them. So it, 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 they can't already be existing because of Rwanda. Certainly not. If it was because of Rwanda, maybe they would be together.
So that problem needs to be addressed in the right context and those problems are Congolese problems, they are not Rwanda's problems. But we can help because we are interested in a stable neighbor. Peace in the Congo or Eastern Congo is peace for us. So we can't be questioned about or our desire to have a peaceful country and region cannot be questioned, honestly. We can't. Even for those who accuse us of stealing minerals, if, if that were to be true, I think we can do better still by having peace. Yes. Because when we have peace, then you don't even need to steal. You would actually have, uh, you know, you know, I was talking to some very senior people recently from somewhere who are saying, you know, the Congolese are saying we, we steal their quarter, we steal their gold. And then I asked them one question. There was many, many leaders. I said, uh, there is something I know. Some people come from Congo, whether they smuggle or go through the right channels, they, they bring minerals, and, but they, they, most of it goes through here, does not stay here. It goes to Dubai, goes to Brussels, goes to Tel Aviv, goes to Russia, it used to go to Russia, I don't know where this still goes there. It goes everywhere. So I was asking them, I said, are you on the list of those who are stealing minerals of Congo? Because these things they end up with you. For, for us, we are, we are now, they go through our country. But they are accusing us of stealing Congo's minerals. How about the destination? Why don't you talk about it? And, and if we, we actually deployed everything, every effort, and stopped this thing flowing, it would, the accusation would be even worse. Yeah, they would be seeing no, no, no more gold coming through here. Going to them, then they say, uh -huh, these people, they are causing problems. So what, what are we supposed to do, honestly? And then uh, there is uh, this famous uh, thing that has, you know, the, the, the I've heard of a head speech I was saying some of the things that need to be paid attention to. One of them, the head speech that goes on from Eastern Congo to the Western end. And then recently some very powerful people who have some good ideas of how to resolve the problem started saying, Hate speech must be stopped on both sides. <laughs> Does anyone understand what that means? Well, for me, I don't, which both sides? So there is hate speech in the Congo and there is hate speech in Rwanda. This is what they are trying to say. 
Has it been going on? Have you been involved in hate speech, you people? <laughs> you know, and, and that these are people supposed to be helping to resolve the problem. So they must give part of the blame to Congo and another part must be carried by Rwanda. Even if both of us are not, have not been doing the same thing. So I, I'm saying it is simple to resolve because all it needs is just uh, Avoiding being neither here nor there, you have to address the problem as it is. You have to deal with the facts, you have to deal with evidence, you have to deal with the right thing to do. As for how the, our name will keep coming up, which I can't, not because we have solicited or created or in any way, shape or form, war to happen. We never ask for war at all. We don't create grounds for conflict, not at all. We are interested in the rebuilding and the building and the building until we are where we want to be. We, 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 are not, we know what war means. I, I, I have had some people, you know, interviews and FT in London or France, Vent Catherine, France or TV Seng or something like that. And somebody say, I don't rule out a war with Rwanda. You know, uh, when I used to talk to this person who keeps saying this, I used to advise uh, humbly tell him that we are actually tired of war, we need to be working together and creating peace between our two countries and uh, because if you are looking for somebody who knows a thing about war, you come to me, please. I know something about it. And I know how bad it is. And, and by that, I know how you cannot have anything better than peace. So, this problem can be resolved. If uh, one country headed for elections uh, next year is not trying to create uh, grounds for an emergency so that elections don't take place, well, not that he, he, not that he won the first elections, as we know. So, if he's trying to find another way of having the next election is postponed, then uh, I would rather he uses. Uh, he used the other excuses, not not us, because we, I don't think we. I think we have really a lot of problems uh, of our own. We don't need to add other people's problems. Uh, but what is surprising is that uh, I've never. You will help me to try and to, to understand that. 
I don't know how it comes that everybody, the opposition, the what, the, the, I think putting the blame on Rwanda, which the whole world seems to buys them votes. Why, why should having problems with Rwanda and votes for people? I see politics heating up in, in DRC and everyone who has something to say whether it is whoever. Just keep saying, oh, Rwanda has invaded, Rwanda has invaded. Since when? And if you think also that we, we have that we are there, even if I were to believe it, I would still proceed with asking myself a question. I say, why? Why would Rwanda be in Congo? Maybe you would find an answer. Because there is a possibility that can take us there. That means, dear, that's what you are saying. For example, let me say like this last time when, uh, you remember in 2019 when uh, FDR invaded and attacked Chiniji and nearly shut down that place where tourists go. And by the way, we started seeing some Oh, messages, uh, don't go to, to, to the northern part of uh, Rwanda, there is insecurity from all over the world. Maybe this is what some people actually want. So we cleaned up that mess, and then uh, this year, first half and mid, you remember what went on, uh, the bombings that took place, uh, being fired from across with heavy artillery into that place. And then, so that is a very attractive to, for us to, to actually cross the border. There's no doubt about it. I've been, uh, you know, we asked uh, DRC several times, I asked, uh, the president to allow us to work with their people to actually deal with the FDRR. And they refused. So I kept asking why they would refuse. I, said, I told them, just be with us, we'll do the work of dealing with them. Little did I know they were, they wanted to preserve them. Uh, so, but in the end, later on in these arguments, I said, when they started firing across our border, I told him that uh, that is enough invitation. I told the president of Congo. But while initially I, I, I was seeking invitation and to work with them to deal with our problem, actually firing artillery across the border into our territory is a sufficient invitation. That statement still stands. If there is ever, any, we have been keeping quiet about some things, you know, violations, and, and again, the, when you see the statements everywhere saying, you know, uh, the, 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 the territorial integrity of Congo must be respected. I totally agree. But so must Rwanda's territorial integrity be respected.
and uh, respecting territorial integrity is not just by a soldier putting foot on the ground on that territory. It's what you send to the other territory as well, even standing on your own. If you fired artillery shells across the border into Rwanda, while you are in the Congo, you have violated the territorial integrity of Rwanda. That's, that's the interpretation. I don't know of any other interpretation. So, I gave you more than you wanted or expected, but uh, I thought I needed to really do this. Um, so be clear about it. When you see things happening, you, you just know. First of all, we are not going to engage in skirmishes that could have been avoided. We are not going to violate anybody's sovereignty or territorial integrity. We will be respected, but we so much demand that that happens in our case as well. And um, so people can, along the border, can go to bed at night knowing they have security for them to sleep all night. <laughs> Short of that, we'll make somebody else spend sleepless nights. Thank you very much. Murakoze nyakuwa preza alpulika kubugi jambo mutujerijeho. Tuwa jirango wabweko muhango usoreje ahangaha haji ya ukulichira hoi foto yurugu ibuto protokwari la wedu fashamu. Murakoze nyakuwa preza alpulika. kurikira muhango waberaga ahanga mu ngoro y'inteko ishinga amategeko kwakira indahiro za bayozi bashya muri government amabyo mwari ko muri ministeri y'ubuzima urahumuja akaba ari indahiro president of Republic of Kagame yakiriye za Dr. Sabin Sanzimana ministre w'ubuzima mushya ndetse n'umyanga leta mushya muri yo ministeri Dr. Ivan Butera Dr. Ivan Butera rero akaba nawe amaze kugeza indahiro kuri president wa Republic of Kagame we na ministre Dr. Sabin Sanzimana akaba yabashimiye kuba bemeye inshingano ariko nanone abibutsa ko ari inshingano zi ibasaba gushyira imbere inyungu zi gihugu inyungu z'abanyarwanda mbere yizabo bwite ariko bavuga ko abafitiye ikizere ukurikije iwi ibyo bashoboye cyangwa se ibyo bashobora gutanga ku gihugu umukuru w'igihugu rero mu kaba nkuko mwabikurikiye yagarutse cyane cyane ku bufatanye bw'u Rwanda n'amahanga by'umwihariko mu rwego rwo gushaka no kugarura umutekano mu bihugu by'inshuti z'u Rwanda by'umwihariko ahanga ha kumugabane wa Afrika akaba yibukije ko u Rwanda rufite ingabo na polisi mu bihugu bitandukanye mu buryo bubiri haba uburyo bw'ubufatanye hagati y'u Rwanda n'ibyo bihugu ariko hakaba naho u Rwanda nkuko mubizi rufite ingabo mu bihugu bitandukanye mu rwego rw'ubufatanye mpuzo amahanga by'umwe hariko mu muryango wabibumbye aha akaba yavuze ko haba muri 
Mozambique habano muri Central Africa aho ngaho u Rwanda rufite yo ingabo mu buryo bw'ubufatanye bw'ibihugu byombi nta nurumiya nta nigiceri na kimwe kigeze gitangwa nundu wari wese usibye u Rwanda kugira ngo izo ngabo na police babashe gukora ibikorwa bakora byo kugarura amahoro n'umutekano muri ibyo bihugu ndetse akaba yavuze kwihamera ijyanye no gusaranganya avuga ati nko muri Central Africa dufitiye ingabo zikora mu rwego rw'umuryango wabibumbye ndetse nizikora mu rwego rw'ubufatanye hagati yacu na Central Africa ka ariko aravuga ati twebwe ikitwa gusaranganya uh, no gusangira ku byiza tugeraho ni hame dufite kuko hari ubwo ba police na basirikare bakora mu rwego rw'umuryango wabibumbye bahembwa neza kurusha abakora mu rwego rw'ufatanye bw'ibihugu byombi ariko bakabasha bose gusaranganya mu byukuri amikoro avamo aho ngaho kugira ngo nabo biteze imbere ariko nabo bibafashe gukomeza gukora akazi kabo neza umukuru w'igihugu rero akaba anafasha umwanyu hagije mu rurimi rw'icyongereza ndetse n'igiswahire agaruka ku kibazo cy'u Rwanda na Republika Iharana Demokrasi ya Kongo ikibazo cyongeye eh, navuga ngo kugaruka muri iki gihe ashimangira aho u Rwanda ruhagaze mu byukuri by'umwe hariko umukuru w'igihugu akaba yongeye gushimangira ko nubwo habaye ibikorwa by'ubushotoranye ku ruhande rwa Republika Iharana Demokrasi ya Kongo u Rwanda rutigeze rwambuka ngo ruje muri cyo gihugu nkuko bivugwa ko rufasha umutwe wa M23 ibintu yongeye gutera utwatsi ariko asaba mahanga nayo kongera gutanga umusanzu wayo mu guke muri kibazo nya cyo cy'umutekano muke muri aka karere aho kugira ngo u Rwanda rufatwe nk'insi na ngufi rukomeze kwikorezwa uwo mutwaro wose kandi ari ikinyoma cyambaye ubusa ibyo numukuru w'ubuje gu president Paul Kagame umaze kubitangariza aha ngaha reka tubashimire rero twifurize gukomeza kugira ibihe byiza mwese aho muri byinshi kubyatangajwe numukuru w'igihugu murakomeza kubikurikira uzindi gahunda zose za radio na televiziyo Rwanda n'ibindi bitangaza makuru byose bya bi na hubundi turabashimiye mukomeze kugira ibihe byiza mu nagerwa na gahunda zacu zose